Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to my August um, How to Kill a Kit with Style slash Crafty Low Buys um, uh, Collection Obsession. So this is a new series they're starting over there. I love the gals over there. They are awesome. Um, and I wanted to take part in that. And the idea is to share how we take a full collection um, and work with it, basically, is what I got the grasp. Let me make a side note about the fact that the series over at the um, Crafty Low No Spend or No Buy, sorry, I'm really bad with name titles of, of groups, um, is not about using up a whole collection. Um, it is more about using a collection kit. So it, for example, that would be just the this paper and this um, sticker sheet. That is, that would be what you are using. Um, and then creating a layout a week. That is the plan over there. Um, I apologize that I've made that maybe not seem quite like what it is, but I definitely want to interject about that. Um, so that's a whole different type of series in general. It doesn't include all the extra stuff. Um, I'm just combining them together because it kind of in my brain worked together. Um, and so I just wanted to mention that before, um, you go over there expecting it to be one thing and then it not be. So please, please make sure that you understand if this is something you're interested in you're going to watch there will be uh, videos and stuff i believe as well it is just using a collection kit so that's not the whole all the extra stuff it's literally using paper and whatever if everyone comes with it um a good example of that would also be the um like echo park so okay just how to interject that's that. gonna happen here we're gonna combine it all and hopefully if i can get this all killed um it'll be a really good example of showcasing my um using collections and then putting a dollar amount to them uh, to put to a new uh, purchase once i reach my set amount so i will talk about that part in, a, in another video as i know there's been some questions so i'm going to do a whole video about that but that's what moira and i have been doing we just started it um, in july and it, it's just kind of to curb our spending and all of that. But let's talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to work with the Coco Vanilla Storyteller Collection. The lovely, lovely Sandra over from a Scrapbook Your Joy has sent it to me so I can guest design with it. And I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful collection. It's got the blues. And this is more of a collection I can work with. Um... And the funny thing is, is if you look at it, it actually has some of the same colors as um, that Simple Stories Bro & Co that I had struggled with, but it's more muted. And so I find it more workable, which I find really interesting because I was looking at it like, hey, there's red in this too, but it's not, I don't think it's the red. I think it was the boldness of that other collection. So this is what I'm working with. And to show you what I do with a full collection and what I've been sent. Um, so I have the full six by eight papers to work with. So those are pretty. I have some of the foam title stickers, so that'll be great. I'll get some pre-made titles onto a page and layouts and I don't have to think about big long titles, though I love to do those. It's nice to not always have to. Some of the pocket cards, project life cards, whatever you want to call them. So a whole stack of those. These are lovely because of course they've got pattern on one side and something interesting on the front side. And there's journaling spots as well. So that's really fun. Um, I've got the sticker sheet. So this is the flat stickers. And then the chipboard stickers as well. These I will pop out of here because they're going to fall out anyways. And I always slide them in with my ephemera um, so that I don't lose them. But at least they have, they'll be in there. But yeah, there's all the chipboard. And then of course we have the, um, the wood buttons and the puffy sticker hearts there. And there's a couple little circles in there as well. But I guess these are enamel they're enamel sorry so we got those to play with um a package of the floral and then the ephemera so the only thing when i'm ordering myself versus getting a lovely package from someone um as guest design is i normally order two packages of the floral because i tend to be obsessed with that so i might we'll see i might have to order another package but other than that that's fine and then of course we have the 12 by 12 paper which 
if you've ever worked with Coco Vanilla Studio before, which I'm sure you have, is a bolder print on one side and a nice lighter print on the other. So that is what I'm going to be working with. I'm very excited to get going, see what I can create. I am I really am hoping to actually kill this kit. Maybe not all in the month of August, but um, I, I am hoping to definitely get this killed within a short amount of time so I can really show you um, how you can take a full-on collection that you have that maybe has been in your stash and how to use it up in a, a timely manner so that you can then either however it works for you get your next kit or um, put some money aside for some something fun down the line but that is what I'm working with so again storyteller collection from Coco Vanilla Studio if this is something you're interested in and you live in Canada or the US, you can purchase this over at Scrapbook Your Joy. I'll have the link down below. I will have the links down below for everyone playing along with how to kill a kit with style. And I'll have the link to the Facebook group for the Crafty Low Buy if that is something you are interested in as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye everyone.